Are you tired of feeling frustrated with your messy paintings? Mine is certainly in the messy stage. That's why I took a step back to figure out how to bring clarity to my work. In this video, I'll share my process with you and show you how I transformed my messy paintings into clear and cohesive pieces. Hi there, I'm Janine. I'm an artist and I share my creative journey on this channel. The messy stage is part of every painting process. The way to get out of it is to review your paintings, which is what I did in my last video. I figured out which bits I like, which ones I don't, and how I want to clarify the compositions and colours. So now I have a much clearer picture of where I want to go with them. Now I'm going to edit and clarify my paintings with the help of the notes I made during the review. I made these notes during my last video, which I'll link in the description. I basically made a few general notes of what I like and what I don't, and then printed four thumbnails in black and white, where I played with the composition. Now I'm going to use those as a guide for the next changes. First, I want to make the painting overall lighter and feel a bit more spacious. So I'm going over busy areas and also lighten bits that are already quite light. Then I'm mixing this golden glazing liquid with some of the light colour and go over some of the busier areas to calm them down. This green area is clashing a bit with the other colours, so I'm going over that with the light glaze. Also, that mark in ultramarine is a bit too much, so I'm only leaving a tiny bit. In this area, in the top corner, I also want to simplify the colours a little, so I'm adding this lighter pink. Here I'm also lightening this green area on the edge to make the colours a bit more harmonious. I had sprayed fixative on this brownier colour, but it still wasn't fixed properly, which is why it's mixing with the white paint I'm applying on top. I don't mind that though. I embrace anything unexpected that happens with my painting. This blue bit at the top felt a bit too solid, so I'm scraping some of it away with a palette knife. I'm also making all the darker areas more similar by applying the dark red over them. Here the Neo colour is mixing again with the paint, so I've decided to spray it with another layer of fixative. Now I can add more light beige on top. I'm scraping over it with a catalyst wedge so the layer is not too solid. Those two dots are a bit too dark, so I'm adding some lighter pink on top. A great way to check where your dark and light values are is by looking at your painting through a red sheet. This is just a red acrylic piece. I want the light areas to be even lighter, so I'm adding more white paint. Always steady, ever wild. And all this the dark area at the top also felt too dark, so I'm adding more light pink. On this one, I don't like the harsh corner, it's a bit out of place. I'm only leaving a little of the blue. In the dark area, I'm unifying the colours more by going over it with the pink. I'm often holding my hands over bits I'm thinking of removing, so I get a better idea of what it would look like. I like scraping over the wet paint with the catalyst wedge, because it shows some of the layer underneath. The lighter areas in this painting look a bit messy, so I'm adding more light colour on top to simplify them. 
painting over any dark shapes that I feel are too distracting. When I mix a light colour, I like to mix in a little bit of several colours I'm using to make all the colours more harmonious. Of course this works with dark colours too. A lot of it is still feeling too splotchy, so I'm using a larger brush to go over some of it. This dark area is looking a bit drab, so I'm adding a glaze of pure magenta over it. The magenta is actually quite transparent. And I'm checking my values again with the red sheet. I'm mixing the green with the pink to make a more neutral colour and I'm going over some of the bright orange with that. I found that the bright orange was competing too much with the blue. I could have toned down the blue but I've decided to keep the blue and tone down the orange instead. I do love this bright area on the left but it's just too much for this painting. I'm still trying to scrape out some of the pattern though. Here the light areas are also a bit messy, so I'm cleaning them up a little with more light paint. It's getting a bit too white, so I'm adding light blue to some of the light areas. On the left I'm extending the darker area with this pinky orange. on going over any areas that I want to be lighter and over any darker bits that I find distracting. For this one I'm mixing another creamy beige colour to lighten most of the painting. There are a lot of small bitty shapes and I'm trying to create some more spaciousness with the light paint. I keep on going over it with the catalyst wedge to reveal some of the texture underneath. In this corner I want the edge to be very soft so I'm blending it with a cloth. Now that I've applied all the white, there isn't much of the green left, so I'm adding some to the bottom edge here. If you like this video, consider subscribing! This one I very much like already. But I want to lighten it a bit more and add some more solid areas because it has a lot of visual texture at the moment. A 
a huge part of my painting process is to stop, look at it, think where I want to make my next move and cover up areas with my hands to see if I want to change that part. Over some of the painting I just want to add a transparent layer so you can still see some of it. That's why I'm mixing glazing fluid with the paint so it's less opaque. With my red sheet I'm checking whether to remove this dark area. I've decided to just keep a hint of it. These two dark shapes are too similar in size. One of them needs to go, or at least be a lot smaller. This one is my least favourite so far. The colours and shapes are all over the place. I definitely want to simplify the colour palette and the texture, and of course lighten it overall. I want to go over most of it with a light colour and large tools, so I don't have too much control over the mark. This yellow is very distracting, so I'm going over it with the green. Here I'm adding pink over the yellow. I'm basically choosing a limited colour palette of pink and green and go over colours that don't fit. With this mop brush, I'm trying to add some softer edges. With a catalyst wedge, I'm revealing a bit more of the layer underneath again. I'm adding a few more bits of the green dotted around the painting. I wanted to add more interest by scraping some of the texture with a palette knife, but I'm not too keen on the result, so I'm painting over it again. This one I really like, but it's a bit too hectic at the moment for what I want to achieve. So again I'm adding more spaciousness with a lighter colour. This shape down here I want to be a bit bigger. I'm also making the shape next to it look part of it, so they seem like one larger dark. I love the blue in this corner, but it's standing out too much, so I'm toning it down with a pink glaze. Same on this edge down here and in a few other places. On this last one, I'm finding this large shape way too big, even though I do really like it. It's just too much for this painting. Over the light areas, I'm adding a transparent layer of white to make it a bit more unified. It's the awakening in my chest. It's the changing of the I'm mixing another neutralish pink to extend this orange shape to the edge.
I love those white scribbly marks, but again, there's too much of that. So I'm removing the upper ones a little bit, so they're not competing with the lower ones. Once again, I'm checking my values with the red sheet and I think it's all good for now. I feel like my paintings look much stronger now and I'm much happier with the colours and the compositions. But of course, I still have some more work to do. I now have a much clearer picture though of where I want to go with each painting. If you missed the video where I reviewed my paintings, then check that out up here. Thanks and bye bye. I'm Janine. I... Mm, what am I?